Hey everybody, happy Saturday. This is Eric in the card closet. Really appreciate you checking in, clicking on the video. I kind of got caught these last couple days. I'm, I'm waiting on a big card that I used my winnings from Picker Jim S on and I keep thinking, well, if I wait another day, it'll get here and I can show it in my video. Doesn't show up. And then yesterday again, well, you know, if it gets here today, I'll show it in the video and so I hold off on the video and here we are it's Saturday no mail tomorrow so I thought you know what I'm just gonna do a video got a couple things to show so the big card will have to wait but anyway let's start off episode 382 I had three options for our guest today three players ended their career with 382 home runs two of them have the last name of Howard And then there's Jim Rice. Of course, I'm going with Jim Rice over the Howard Twins. So, Jim Rice, this is his 1979 Topps card. <coughs> One of my favorite cards of his. I just love how the colors all go together. Got this big, white, toothy smile there. Uh, just love the card. Been a favorite of mine since I was little. It also... Features on the back his brilliant 1978 season, 121 runs, 213 hits, 46 home runs, 139 RBIs, 315 average. Led the league in home runs and RBIs. Rod Carew beat him out for the batting title. So Jim Rice is our guest here for episode 332. And I like to look at the stats on the back of the cards, and I noticed something that a lot of home run hitters don't get is that many triples. So in 1977, he had 39 home runs and 15 triples. And in 1978, he had 46 home runs and 15 triples. So that got me curious. It's not a combination you see a lot. Usually... Triples hitters are the speedsters, and home run hitters are the power guys. So I looked it up. I actually went to baseballreference.com and looked through the list of all the players that have hit 15 triples in a season or more. So trivia question for you. How many players have hit 15 home runs and 46, I'm sorry, 15 triples and 46 home runs in a season like Jim Rice did in 1978. 15 triples and 46 home runs in the same season. Give you a little time to think, of the, think about that. Just think of the kind of player it takes to, to get numbers like that. All right, so the answer is four. Jim Rice is one of them. Babe Ruth did it once. Joe DiMaggio did it once. And Lou Gehrig did it twice. So Jim Rice, Lou Gehrig, Babe Ruth, Joe DiMaggio. The only four to do that. Let's drop the criteria a little bit. Like 1977, how many players in history have hit 15 triples and 39 home runs in the same season? Answer, same as the previous list, plus one new player. So we've got Ruth, DiMaggio, Rice. Jim Rice has done it twice. Stan Musial did it once. And Lou Gehrig did it three times. So we've got DiMaggio, Ruth, Musial, Rice twice, Lou Gehrig three times. Pretty, pretty impressive list to be on. So we're going to put Jim Rice over here on the side. So things to show today that have been coming in. Let's start with one of those guys we were just talking about. Finally just 
caved in and got the photo variations for Babe Ruth on the Red Sox. So this one's from 2009. And you can see that season right there, 16 triples, 59 home runs in 1921. That was the season that got him on that list with Jim Rice. But I like these Babe Ruth cards on the Red Sox. To get one for it from his playing days is going to be impossible for me in my lifetime, but... It's nice to have this option. The other one is from 2010. Shows him in a batting position this time. And on the back it shows his Major League Pitching statistics. Two-time 20-game winner. Led the league in ERA. Totally awesome. You combine his 23 wins... His 24 wins the next season, 170 strikeouts, ERA 2.44, 1.75, 2.01, 2.22 2 .2 during his full-time seasons. And then you add that on top of this hitting record. Look at those home run seasons, 54, 59, 35, 41, 46, 25, 47, 60, 54, 46, 49, 40, what is that? 6 again, 41. Take all those stats as a pitcher and a hitter, and you tell me who had the better baseball career, Babe Ruth or Shohei Otani? I don't think it's even close. I, you know, I hear a lot of people saying, well, Shohei Otani is best baseball player ever. He's doing a good job, and he's a great player. But he doesn't have any stats like Babe Ruth on either side, pitching or hitting. And ironically, the card that shows him pitching shows his hitting stats on the back. And the card that shows him hitting, quote-unquote hitting, has his pitching stats on the back. I realized I was a couple years behind on these uh, factory team sets that Topps puts out, so... They didn't do one in 2021. They didn't do any team sets that year, probably because of the pandemic. So I got the 2022 set here. 17 cards. I'll break that open sometime. It's these sets that I want to put in my binder. Whereas the, the team sets that come out of the factory sets, I, I put with the complete set itself. And then probably the best card... I'm going to show today. Show the back first. So this is David Ortiz's first card with the Red Sox. Shows him on the Twins. It's the traded card from 2003. Topps Chrome. Refractor. There are none on eBay right now, and when they show up, they go. Um, I, I have had some uh, battles and previous cards of other copies of this that have showed up on eBay. Finally won one of those battles. Just takes one. And uh, love this card. David Ortiz, Tops Traded from 2003. There's an X-Fractor of this. Only 57 copies made. Not sure about that one. That one's going to take... That's going to take more time. Plus, they never show up. <laughs> so, all right. That's what I've got for you today, folks. Hope you're having a great weekend. Do appreciate you watching. I would appreciate it if you're not a subscriber, if you would click that subscribe button so that you can see more content like this. Talk to you all later. Bye.